Hello everybody, my name is Salome and today I'll be talking about homeschooling in South Africa. Before moving to Woolsey Hall and doing homeschooling, I was at a traditional primary school and middle school in Mauritius. I followed the Cambridge curriculum in those schools and later started with my IGCSEs. By the time I started with IGCSE in that school, my brother was almost finished with his IB diploma and we were traveling a lot. So we decided to move to homeschool instead and I started my IGCSEs with Woolsey Hall. Homeschooling made me realize I work better on my own and focus much more when working at home without the distractions a traditional school would have. I also had a lot more free time and flexibility with my new schedule since I didn't have to take a school bus every day. Personally, I find homeschooling much better for me. I chose to study with Woolsey Hall because it meant I could work at my own pace and time. I have a very flexible schedule because of Woolsey Hall, which now allows me to travel with my family and not miss out on any work. Currently, I'm planning to stay in South Africa for the rest of my A-levels and write my exams here. I'm hoping to enroll in university here as well, but plans could always change. Now usually when doing homeschooling you have to register as a homeschooling student. In South Africa children up to 15 years old have to be in school and in Mauritius children up to 16 years old have to be in school. However, since I was already 16 when I started homeschooling, it was not necessary for me to register. South Africa's matric education system only goes up to year 12. It is also not an international degree, which does limit your university options. Studying A-levels allows me to go a year further with my education if I choose to, and I'll finish with an international degree, which allows me to study internationally at most universities. So the South African curriculum includes knowledge and lower level comprehension and application questions and they have a very small amount of marks for actual application of knowledge and synthesis of knowledge from different areas into a single question. Cambridge however assumes the knowledge and comprehension and questions start out straight with application. This I believe is a much better indication of comprehension and is more representative of what happens university and better prepares you for an academic life going forward. As mentioned earlier, A-levels go into more depth and go further in education compared to matric. A-level work is much closer to first year university work compared to matric, which gives A-level students an advantage. Because of this, I feel much more prepared for further education or careers. Here in South Africa, there are so many beautiful nature areas with wild animals and we love to go to places like that. The only problem is there isn't always good Wi-Fi in the bush. Another problem with studying A-levels online here in South Africa, especially when doing Edexcel, is there, are, there is only one exam centre, which is the British Council, and South Africa is a pretty big country, so you do have to travel sometimes. So here in South Africa, my other option would be studying with the matric system, which makes me feel much more confident about doing A-levels since it's more recognized and it prepares me better for university. I feel very supported having feedback from my student progress manager and tutors. They're always very helpful and feedback on assignments are always super in-depth. Yes, Canvas is very easy to use and the modules on Canvas make it easy to stay on track. My student progress manager gives me due dates for assignments, which also helps a lot to not fall behind. So education wise, if I was in the South African schooling system, I think I would be less prepared going into university. I would also not learn as much, which can be a disadvantage. Life skills wise, if I was in school here, I would have had more friends but I wouldn't have been able to travel and learn about other cultures or traditions, which I think helped me become a more open-minded person and more educated about situations happening outside the country. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped. Enjoy learning with Woolsey Hall.